These are some of the best and the worst marks of the 2023 AFL season. And what better to get it started than a dual mark? You can see that Harris and King both get possession of the mark roughly around the same time. The umpire makes the right call and says it's going to be a ball up. Now I've been watching footy for a very, very long time and I don't recall the last time I've actually seen this. It's probably not something that we see all the time, so well done to the umpire for making the right call here. seen that too often a jump ball in basketball terms umpire saying they both had an equal amount of it Parker takes an excellent mark here one-on-one -on -one against Alex Witherden and you can see that he sort of struts his stuff a little bit he walks back and Parker doesn't even run in for the goal he just knows that he can kick this this is a man who's full of experience and definitely confidence and he knows that he can kick this now I don't know if you've actually tried a kick like this before, but it is very, very difficult and he just makes it look very easy. Eight minutes into the turn. Parker, unusual, went round and then just said, oh, just checks on it through. Bo McCreary kicks it inside the Ford 50. I'm assuming he's actually going for a shot at goal and it's absolute mungle, but Ash Johnson makes him look like it was a set play. What a grab. He goes down quite hard, but he gets back up and slots the goal. They should be setting up a goal scoring opportunity. Nine goal season so far for McCreary. Didn't strike that at all well. Johnson! what he just achieved and he's winded as a result as well most people would have had this written in the book straight away the mark was taken by Charlie Kearney and he's standing straight out in front probably 30 meters out I would have had this mark down as a goal especially first quarter he shouldn't be tired but somehow he kicks it straight into the man on the mark when we've seen him be able to kick this from 50 meters out not entirely sure what was going on, but this one made the cut because he's kicked it into the man on the mark. He's kicked it into the man on the mark. You cannot believe that. They might still be able to make this work, the Blues. They do. Wonderful finish from... It's always funny seeing the Ruckman trying to do things that the midfielders or forwards try to do because it almost looks like it happens in slow motion. You can see Darcy tries to gain a few extra metres on the left boot and he just kicks it straight into the man on the mark and it goes out for a throw in. If you don't have the distance and there's still time on the clock, why not just set the kick up? Anyway, it's always funnier when it happens to a ruckman. Now if you've made it this far into the video, please click pause and go down and leave a comment with the word purple in it. Let's see if we can confuse the other people who haven't actually watched this far into the video. Mason Redmond's gone up for a wicked mark here. You can see he throws his hand up. I'm assuming he knows that he's going to be able to at least touch it. And he does enough to bring it down and secure the mark. The marks just always look so much more spectacular when they're done with one hand. Goes up with the one hand and bit of magic. That's spectacular. Great midfield. They're getting some good looks. They've just got to try and connect a bit more with their forward. When Geelong were hosting the Crows at home, you can see by the score that they're up by 20 points, so Geelong don't need to put their body on the line, but Jeremy Cameron doesn't listen to the memo and he takes a spectacular mark. He didn't have to do this and risk his body, but it just shows what sort of player he is. Totally dedicated. Oh, Cameron! <laughs> That's your hands up. That's got to hurt too. Just launched himself from the side. Ward has just had a complete brain fade here as he runs over the mark. He's running to go to the interchange, I'm assuming, and somehow he doesn't realise that a mark's being paid and just runs through it, gives away a 50 metre penalty. That one's got to hurt. And you can't undo it once you've done it, can you? <laughs> You're right there with Ben Miller. I mean, what a fine. Jamari Yuko Hagen is taking a set shot at goal and he's going around the body and as you can see he kicks it straight into the defender but even if it did clear the first defender it definitely wasn't even making the distance. This was a completely flat shot and very uncharacteristic of him. 
After Taylor Walker is awarded a free kick for holding the ball, you can see that there's no one standing the mark and he takes well advantage of this and goes through and kicks a goal from about 50 metres on the boundary line. Got to put this one down to just extremely poor defence. Holding the ball. Free kick to Tex just beyond his range. Although he struts away and launches gold. One of his all-time best. Papley's come through and taken one of the marks of the year and then takes his time, does the right thing, goes back, gets in the right mindset to kick a goal and then just completely shanks it. At least it's Papley, so you know he's just going to laugh this one off and he'll get another goal. But yeah, very strange for him to miss such an easy one from straight out in front. There's the jump from behind. It's good height. Good grab. He was thinking, I'll kick this. Early on in the season, Mateus Filippo took possibly one of the marks of the year, although there were quite a few good ones towards the end of the year, so he definitely wouldn't have even got top three in my opinion. But regardless, this was such a good mark, very courageous, and it looked like it would have absolutely hurt because he landed flat on his bum. But well done to the young fella to get up there and do what he did. For some unknown reason, Vlosten is in the Ford 50 and he takes a spectacular mark. If he could do this on a more consistent basis, do you think that he would play down forward a fair bit more? I think he's too invaluable to take out of the back lines, but maybe they were doing this to try and get some points on the board so they could come back and beat Sydney here. I don't know, what are your thoughts? On the burst with a bounce to full forward to the pack. A one hander! What a mark from Flostone! The part time forward. And to finish off, I think this one here should have been paid a mark, and this is probably, in my opinion, the best mark that wasn't paid for the whole 2023 AFL season. You can see he does somewhat control it and it falls in his lap. I think he's controlled it enough and it hasn't touched the ground that this should have been paid a mark. We're seeing a lot throughout the year that are a lot worse than this that did get paid. So unfortunately this one didn't, but oh well, maybe next year. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's the end of the video. Please, if you like these videos, please do subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.